Wait. We're back. City Skylines 2, as you can see, we still have that crime wave issue, which is where we left off last time. I didn't want to just cliffhanger it. That, that's, not, that's not fun at all. So, how are we going to get out of this mess? Well, I hate to take loans, but this may be the perfect opportunity to do so. My limit's 700,000. I don't need that much. Now, see how much this is going to cost every month. I only need 100, so, or maybe 150 to get through to the next bonus, which should put us in the positive. So timing wise, this may be an okay time to take a loan. That's not a huge repayment. Um, and if we give ourselves just an even 200, eh, it's under 15. So my thought is it's gonna be fine. This will be fine. It'll be fine. We can take a loan. And, you know, I mean, that's what it's there for, right? But since we're taking money, we're gonna try to let some industry grow because that's our biggest uh, boon right now is we have production and we have industry. Um, offices are so minimal. If I bump it up just one notch, it brings us, rounds us up to the next number. Yeah, okay. So just a little bit more than 15 about 16 and a half if I were so so now that we've got that the first thing we're gonna do is not plop down parks like a super super happy camper that I am um, we are going to place a police department now there are a couple of different options and now we have a French police station 460 well, thankfully, I got enough wiggle room to do that. But jail capacity is 40, patrol car is 6. Hmm. And it's 38,000 a month. That's going to bring up our total increase per month to around 150. So, 150 ish. Hmm. <laughs> Small police station, 15, that would bring it to you know, 30, so about 31, just shy of 31. Same patrol cars, only 10 jail capacity, but right now, patrol cars, you know, unless this building gives me a specific benefit, which I'm not aware of, garage can be upgraded. Hmm, that last line is pretty important to read. Always read to the end of the descriptions because it's very important. Let's uh, let's do that. This one cannot be upgraded. I know that. So let's uh, let's figure out a good spot for mon petit frit. Um, let's see. We don't want to put it way out in the wilds, and this is a little too goofy, I think. I think we might need to jig jag it in there somewhere. We're going to basically build out this way. So I think I'm going to place it around here. That's what I think. Okay, now we're going to pretend this is like a little grid. Because, um... There, there are a couple of other, there are a couple of other YouTubes that, that are way better than I am that will show you uh, infrastructuralist. I think is the one I'm thinking of specifically. But the way he designs his grids is very square, very 90s, uh, very 90s. <laughs> I mean, angling wise, very 90s. I would guess that would be an appropriate decade. But um, anyway. Uh, the way he's the way he's doing it, and I'm 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 not going to do it as well as he does. But uh, what I can show you is show you the idea, and uh, I think it's pretty clever. 
think it's actually quite clever. Um, now, I just have this habit of wanting to do doubles. So I'm just going to let that, uh, I'm just going to play that fantasy out in my head. And I'm going to go back to the pattern that I was trying to develop. Now, you see how these buildings are built, the French buildings? You remember I was commenting last time? Uh, the lack of uh, about the wireframe models and how it goes to two levels below anyway but what I also mentioned was the the way that they're designed I, I still don't understand why there aren't windows on the insides but but on the backs where they can connect where they're gonna face other buildings you they're basically designed to like interlock um, I mean that's my best interpretation of it you can you can form your own conclusion because mine is probably trash, but that's the way I'm going to think about it. So if, um, and I, it, it should be true. I don't know. Anyway, it seems to be, he can, he can create the perfect blocks. So, um, I think that that's what I'm going to try to do to get to the point. Um, but in order to do that, you have to use a lot of, uh, very angular intersections, etc. Um, no, just try not to crush them together here, which is what I'm going to do anyway. But if I just bring it this way, I still broke it. That's what's important about Second getting radio, proper distances between them. What you can do is mm -hmm, curve, insta curve. Is if you keep proper distances between them, um, the buildings, and I'm not really sure about the building set yet because there are a lot of variables that I just I just haven't even thought about yet. So, but what I can do is uh, right here. I'm just gonna try to continue this out this way. Okay, so we'll plan on commercial in here because we don't have to worry about many of the French. Well, actually, I don't know what the French commercial looks like. That's just EU business. I guess there is none. Okay. Okay. So there is none. Um, or at least none yet. I don't know if there's works in progress, whatever. Anyway, the getting back to the thought is to just follow this through and square things up. And when I do build stuff, it will conform to that, that pattern. Right now, I just need to get the police station in and we should be able to call it good in this area. Now we're broke. Well, not broke, but we have more money than we did before, but we have more going out. So let's go ahead and do that and let's see how that works. I'm going to wrap this road in here because I still have a little bit of capital. You see what I'm going to do? I'm going to make that a square um, or at least there and try to block this in with another square. Oh, bad 90. Easy to fix. Hmm, a little finicky, but easy to fix. Bit of an odd angle, but it, it'll work. This will be fine. It'll be fine. Give it a little alley back here. A really weird angle. <laughs> Maybe give it one full. Yeah, that should work. Let's just bring us right back into here. Should be fine. Tag this in. To our clickers, clickers and snappers, snappers, and there we go. And that's connected, so should be good. Now, crime wave, all but eradicated. I think nope. There's some stuff going on, but now the garage expansion adds six more. That doubles the number of police cars, so that's cool. Very cool. 
don't want to add any expenses beyond what we know we can recoup at this point. So I think that's, uh, that's a pretty decent start. Okay, so let, I'm just gonna pump up the numbers, uh, pump up the speed and uh, look at the numbers. You know what I mean, right? Or you didn't and I just corrected myself. So there you go. Ah, ah, that's the right direction. Keep going that way. No, keep going that way. Keep going down, down. No, the other way up. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Down is up. And it's not Australia. It, it's money. It's different. Hmm. Don't like trimming that out too much. But these do impact uh, happiness and what we need is more happy people to be moving in so we can get these meters going. There's one. Good. Back to one. Okay, now we've set this area up. We're gonna populate it. Gotta get it populated. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give, let's see. I really liked the way that these looked before. And uh, on the other side, right there, that's very, very clever looking. Now we're going to try to build into that corner and see, see what happens there. Um, no, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that open. I'm just going to run a road around it since I still have a few bucks. And keep that angle. Good, 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 good. You see, he does this in such a, a significantly better, uh, he's significantly better at this, but that's, I think that's the idea. So... We do that and plump something magnanimously cubic <laughs> or what have you, you know, right there you drop something that low right there let's uh now the straightness that's what we're gonna play with i think because if if I'm correct, I don't see. I see that the residences will uh, develop rather large backyards. The corners obviously are corners, so they are a specific grid width. And in this case, it, they are a three by three by three. It's the corner, nicely. I wonder if we can make those happen. I wonder if we can force in a four by four block or yeah, a three by three or what have you. Maybe they're different. I know there are different uh, versions of the asset. I don't know what their dimensions are because I haven't looked it up. So due diligence, not done. Lazy day, busy day. <laughs> Just as contradictory as I can be at this point. Mm -hmm. in there and let's draw one in a tree by tree tree by tree see if this works this way um i'm thinking that when when i get more um population i should four by four just an experiment, just to see what, what happens there. Okay, let's get the speed up again. Because remember, we're watching the budget. Down, down. Okay, so this is where we were before the this police station. So, this is good. For the this age. is the right direction. Unlike most modern 
Now you see how it fluctuates? If you're if you're staring, it's like a watch pot never boiling. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. But it will. Yeah, silence. Thank you. Anyway, um, that's what I'm trying to do. So, watch pot. We're going to do the watch pot. That's what we wanted to do. Huh. Oh, God, I love that. <laughs> Hi. Or I-E. 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 Yeah, or yeah, whatever. I can't read. Let's see. Let's see if we can force another. It's like good. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, right, because it's on that. Avenue. Avenue de Bende. Down there. Well, we can keep the keep that going through. Oop. Get it in the center. And watch your squares. Yeah. That's good. Of course, it needed to be the other direction, but yeah, that looks good. Sure that looks good. If you've got one eye and you're looking in the wrong direction, it looks good. But um let's see. What else can we do? There's a lot of traffic coming in. That's what we want. And that's why we made the big road. All right, let's get a roundabout, a real roundabout in there. Um, we're gonna need road services eventually, but I don't wanna add any other expenses right now. So I'm just gonna go with uh, advances that I know won't lead to more expenses right now. I'm not going for tech progression so much, which you'll you'll see me leave this unsatisfied for, for, for quite some time at points. It depends on how the city's doing. If I think it's doing very well, then I'll just go for pro. There's no problem. But um grand. Oh grand. Oh. Is, did I see different colored roofs? Is it, was that there before? I can look back in the video, but I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you see these blank sides? And you see how I built that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is between these, because they have blank sides so I'm going to put these but I'm going to make them I'm just going to make them 3 deep, which is not the way I've been doing it but uh, we're going to try that and we'll have a little V right here oops not a traffic circle I mean, maybe it would look kind of cool but just a thought Um, that'll do it. Developing a lot of intersections here. A lot of intersections, yeah. I mean, it's not a lot of traffic yet, but that's why we're going to need those road services. Pretty much Ricky Tech, so. As soon as we know we're in, we're in the green. Oh, wow. Do you see that hourly? That is exactly what we're shooting for. Remember we were at last episode we were at four thousand, five thousand, then down to three thousand, now down to fifteen hundred ish. After taking a loan. So taking a loan is not gonna destroy your city. It's not gonna kill you. Now we're down to thirty five. As long as you're progressing along. If you aren't following these RCIs really closely for the first uh oh, I don't know. 30, 40,000 uh, uh, population wise, you're going to have to follow these and, and deplete them as much as you can 
you can stop doing that at like 15 and let it grow and just build up so you can allocate whenever you need to but there's just some very very cool stuff that it can do I think I think I like the game a lot now this is on a side street so let's give it a decent connection on the other side Mm -hmm. See, I think that breaking it up like that will be, will work out pretty well. So we'll, I guess we'll see. But for right now, I'm just going to fill it in with just a, just regular, regular peeps. I don't really care about the resident size. I'm not going to be, they're not going to be here long. I don't think so. And that's our, I don't know. I don't know if I wanted to go that big that quickly, but it's not in the small part of the town, so it should be fine. It should be fine. It'll all be fine. Okay. That's going down. Now I have a little bit of industrial to use. Crime is way under control, so we're good there. How are we doing in? capacity here oh nice okay <laughs> barely used awesome. and the air pollution nothing up here just from the highway I, I really appreciate that being part of the equation for large intersections I do like that as much as I don't like the effect I, I like that because that that will form. That will help form. Uh, if the if players are paying attention to how the, to how that's going, they will build some really spectacular cities, and hopefully some cleaner ones. Maybe we'll get some cleaner cities out of this. That would be cool. Okay. Check the budget again. Mm, ish. Just make sure the taxation is nominal. Let's bump office down, back down to 10, but kick industrial back up to 13. Yeah, that'll quell the need. Okay, it's still growing, but much, much slower. So, or somewhat slower. And 22. Okay. It's getting close. We do want to power. We should be fine. Well, we are not. Okay. I'm going to pause this for a second. Don't have enough to build another one. Hmm. Well, okay. This is where zones come in handy. We can create districts here. Um, let me just draw one out. It just it just needs to be rudimentary. It doesn't need to be fantastic. It just needs to cover. Um, uh, how about right to the the bend. I am horrible doing this. And we'll give this little section in the middle its own. Oh, come on. Hmm. That's, uh, that's commercial. We may as well. No, we may as well not. That way we can. Yeah. Keep those two sections 
keep this keep this together as one and then make another one up there okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try to uh, just put, uh, put put these districts in get it completed and um, when they're completed what I'll do is you'll you'll see what I'll end up doing in more detail but my plan is just to add energy conservation to each one of the districts since this is a free thing to do it doesn't cost a dime to set up a district um, what it will enable me to do is to do that eventually um shoot i forgot that's it's not an option in a small town or what level are we at we're grand village oh so we're almost almost i think it's in boomtown when is that there's some mixed housing patient mailbox loan limit uh post office radio <laughs> interesting and there it is. There they are. Okay. So it's the next it's the next milestone. Okay, so all we have to do is just make it to one milestone, and now that those districts are set up, we should be able to handle it. So right now, let's just get it going again. We're running into a shortage. So we're gonna be importing, which is why this is in the red. So I mean that's part of our expense too. But if we can hit the next milestone. What we'll be able to do is set each one of those regions to energy conservation. Add some. Well, by that point in time, we'll probably be in the uh, positive again, and we just need thirty uh, twenty-five thousand. What was it? Uh, twenty-five thousand to place another windmill, and that will get us through. And that'll get us through and then we can uh, we can upgrade these puppies and we'll be just fine for a while at least long enough to get a geothermal plant in place which will be in the future or well most likely it'll be in a pasture but mm, i've been meaning to join dad's jokes anonymous for a long time now maybe this is my sign Bring that through. Mm. It's, it's really hard to square things up sometimes. Um, you have to kind of set it to free flowing. I mean, if if you if you want to, if you want it to be uh, a specific uh, angle, you have to always watch the interactions. And I I don't. I'm not really very good at that. I wish I were, but. It's time consuming in a different way. If you set this to like just free uh, free flow and just to draw it out, it seems to work pretty well. Um, but it it doesn't snap. It doesn't it doesn't give you that tactile feedback or not tactical not tactical uh, tactile. Sorry. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Uh, can't speak either. But um, what it'll do is it'll it'll that feedback that visual feedback from the mouse cursor when you snap to a, a grid or a line that just doesn't exist um here oh you you know I, I shouldn't have to explain that but you see how it just snaps that's great but um to be more precise unfortunately you have to do that and when you're doing that you have no concept of whether it's online if they were to put a little circle a white circle around the blue circle when it is on the angle that would probably be a good thing without giving that um that feedback interaction where you're when you're clicking if you would just put a white circle around it well i, I mean i see what it's trying to do i think it's trying to draw terrain I, I don't know what that is but i know that it goes away when you get close to the road it's just there's no 
single location where it does this turns solid one translucent blue and uh it, you see how it gives you that that line across maybe that would be the indication um maybe that would be an easier way to do it because it already exists as a programmatic feature so if you were to take this and just as you moved here if instead of trying to throw that shade in <laughs> if it throws that that those lines on the side that would be a wicked cool update or upgrade i mean you know yeah just thinking just thinking out loud in brain out loud. Eh, it happens okay we're gonna get down one more and we're gonna we're gonna try to put that back into this this 90 can we're just having angular issues today ah stop it there okay cool cool i think that that turned out okay hmm see it did work with the four and the three and I like the way that it just gives you this cool up angle. I like that. It's very, very cool. All the way it does this up. And I've seen this where buildings butt together, but there aren't necessarily always windows there. Although that's that's a lot of extra space. I don't, I don't know. What the heck is that? It's a weird aberration. I don't know show it to you again just has something to do with the aliasing but i'm not sure what it is anyway um cool that was very cool i wonder if i i wonder i wonder since we're building residents here we can build a we can zone mm, see probably not but let's just do that we'll need parks at some point in time real parks but we ain't gonna get them for a while uh, at least a little bit. Okay. We are almost in the green, folks. Almost in the green. Let's, uh, let's speed it up a bit. See if we can get there in just a minute or two. Or a couple of minutes. Before we break stuff. <laughs> and then to, once we break into the green, then we can add more power. And then stabilize. So that is the game plan at this point. Ding. Give it the pairing. So weakness. Okay. Well, we're going to just do one thing before we end the episode for today. But I just wanted, needed to fill you in on what was going on. So we can do recycling now too, but... The main thing we want is energy consumption awareness. And now what's really cool is that we have another. We have definitely have another windmill coming our way. But we're going to set this energy awareness anyway, because it's a really, really good thing to do. It will save you a bazillion dollars. I notice a lot of people don't really pay attention to that or don't seem to use it. Um... I don't think it really affects people's happiness as much as I think some believe. I don't know. I don't, I generally either run it or don't run it. If I don't have monetary constraint issues, I don't really deal with it. But I've done it in quite a few areas and it seems to be pretty effective. Not just nominally effective, but pretty effective. Uh, let's set one more zone up here. And this is where we should be able to get a, a considerable, uh, considerably more visible effect by, uh, by doing this to industrial areas. Like if, uh, if everything's still the same, at least there's been a patch. So a lot of this stuff could be interact inaccurate too. Okay. Or slight on, on some varying degree. Okay. 
Now, let's see. <laughs> close, close, close. Yeah, it's going to cost something. Yeah. But um, electricity. We're going to have to give it more. Yeah. See, once you get really close to, to breaking that border, you're going to find that a few things are going to go and you're going to have to. You gotta have to fix them, so it's standard operating procedure. You'll, it'll be fine. This will be fine. It'll be all fine. Okay. Now let's add one more tower or one more um, windmill. Just before we should really throw it in fifth gear yet. Mm. That should do it. Okay, you work fine. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Give some speed, let it catch up. Mm, no, no. I don't think so. Yes, okay. Okay, now we're trading. So that's that's uh, what we wanted to do. And we're in the green. Look at that. Now, uh, there's not a more successful feeling than hitting the green after getting a loan. <laughs> so let's um, we'll let it grow a little bit, and we don't need to repay so much that it's going to be arduous so uh okay i think that pretty much sums it up for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it and maybe you picked up something i think i have so anyway hope you had fun and uh, we'll see you in the next one